Hey, I think I got some of this down if you want to try me. Go on. ahead. All right, I got to. You want to do it with a megaphone or? It's up like to... through a phone? Well, I'm not, you know, it's Give funny. Let me explain my process when I work. <laughs> Uh, I it's it's all, I try to memorize it first and then get like a character voice down and try to explain it. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, here is try to, uh, here's Artie Lang doing his interpretation of the Alec Baldwin phone call. So there are daughter. several steps to the process. Yeah, and I, and let me remind you that he is not using a sheet of paper in front of him. This is yeah. uh. It takes several steps to get dirty work in yeah. The Bachelor. I I see. <laughs> all right. The amazing part is that he memorizes within minutes. Go ahead. I want you to know something, okay? And I want to leave this message for you right now. Because, again, it's 10.30 in the morning here in New York on a Wednesday. And once again, I have made an ass out of myself trying to get to a phone to call you at a specific time. When the time comes to make that phone call, I stop whatever I'm doing to make the call. And at 11 o'clock in the morning here in New York, you're not there to pick up the phone. At 10 o'clock in the evening, and I call, and you don't even have the goddamn phone turned on. <laughs> I want to tell you something, okay? I am done playing this game with you. All right? I'm leaving this message to tell you that you have insulted me for the last time. You've insulted me. You don't have the brains or the decency as a human being, and I don't care if you're 12 years old or 11 or a child or whatever, and I don't care that your mother is a thoughtless pain in the ass and clearly doesn't care what you do as far as I'm concerned. I'm telling you, you have humiliated me for the last time. And next week, I'm going to fly out there, and I'm going to straighten you out on this issue. I am going to fly out there, and I am going to tell you just how disappointed in you I am. I'm going to tell you how angry I am with you for doing this to me once again. You have made a fool out of me, and you have pulled this stuff over and over me, stuff you would never dream of pulling with your mother. You do with me constantly. Okay? And I'm going to fly out there next week, and I'm going to straighten your ass out. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure that you really get it. I'm going to make sure that you know what a rude, thoughtless little pig you really are. Do you understand? You're a rude, thoughtless pig. So be ready on Friday the 20th, because I'm coming out there. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to fly right back home. <laughs> you are a rude, <laughs> thoughtless pig. All right, I'm, I got to say something. <laughs> Great. Now, first of all, there's nothing like watching you work with a picture of Elliot Offen over your head. Right? <laughs> that was pretty much. That was pretty much. I surprised myself yeah, there. Let that me was tell you something. Much... <laughs> that was incredibly good. I'd pay to see that on Broadway. You know, I'm looking at that and I'm saying that's every bit the kind of rant you would just die to see in a movie. Now, here's why you're a genius. Right you see, here's why, why you're a genius. What? You're a genius. I'm telling you, the fact. Forget the memorization there. Right. Now you 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 did it in your own voice, but yet you became Alec Baldwin. 